Good morning. See the rain? The rain falling. Background of the light. It's quite funky looking. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Thursday. There's my wee woof woof. That's there's Oro. It's Thursday. I know I finish work tomorrow. And for many, tomorrow will be their last day of work for the break, for the holidays, for Christmas. And Christmas is generally celebrated right across the earth. You know, it represents a time of, you know, Christ coming. You know, it represents the the birth of Christ, the idea of that. It's Thursday. Today, we're going to give thanks. In Ephesians, in the Bible, God's Word, it says to give God thanks in everything through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ. So a lot of people celebrate Christmas because of Jesus. Jesus the person. Jesus the Messiah. Jesus the King. Jesus who came and sacrificed his life for his people. And his people is me and you. If you're watching this video, his people are me and you. So it is raining today where I am in this country, which is in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Somebody asked me yesterday, um, where's Northern Ireland? And I said to him, it was where the Titanic was built. <laughs> Just as a reference point for them. I think they're in America somewhere, they might not have known. But I want to get back to Thursday thankfulness. Now you might be asking yourself a question. What have I got to be thankful for? You know, you know, don't be poo-pooing yourself. Don't be critical in your mind. Don't be critical of your circumstances. Don't be critical of the people around you. You might be facing a tough situation now. And like I've said repeatedly over and over and over again, you know, life is messy. Um, uh, we all walk with anxiety. We all suffer bouts and... And, and we all have tasted depression and pain and because that's life, life's messy. So we can't pretend it's not there, we can't just suppress it and go, I'm not, it doesn't exist. It's one of those. And you might be thinking, what on earth have I got to be thankful for? So the Bible says to give God thanks in everything. Everything. Just not some things, but everything. That is rejoice because this is the day that the Lord has made. Now you may not be a Christian. In fact, you may hate Christians. You may test them. God may be the furthest thing that you would ever even think of or dream of, even being connected to, or being part of. And if, I, if that is where you're at right now, let me suggest something to you. The Bible says this, that the rain shall fall on the just and the unjust. In other words, the rain will fall on the Christian and on the non-Christian. The rain will fall on the hater of God and the one who loves God. I want to encourage you today. The reason why you've got breath in your lungs, the reason why that you can actually get up out of bed today, is because God allows it. Even though you don't acknowledge Him, even though you don't believe in Him at this point in your life, the goodness of God falls on the just and the unjust, the righteous and the unrighteous. The hater of God and the lover of God. I want to say to you, God does not hate you. God loves you.
Jesus came into this world because we're running up to Christmas and this is Thursday thankfulness to be thankful God loves you Jesus came into this world because God sent his son to this world to tell his people which is you and me that he loves us <laughs> that's even when we hear them even when I hear them even before I was a Christian that's that's when I hear them he still sent the son Jesus to love me. Do you want to encourage you today, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're up to, it's coming up to Christmas, it's coming up to break. I really want to enjoy your break. I want you to have a, you know, a restful, peaceful, and uh, I just want to speak a blessing over anybody who watches this video, no matter where you are in the world. May God bless you today. May He send us peace. May Jesus, a person, visit your home. And if you don't know him, I would love that you would get to the place that you would get to know this person. The one who truly knows how to love. He's the one that is love. He is the example of love. So be thankful today. Be thankful that you've got air in your lungs. Be thankful that you've got a roof over your head. Be thankful that you have friends. Be thankful that you have family. Be thankful that you have a job. Be thankful that you've got your health. Be thankful you might even be in hospital. Be thankful that you've got a hospital to be in. Be thankful that you've got doctors around you. Just be thankful. Have a mind and a heart of thankfulness today, of gratitude. For your life do yourself a favor do your family a favor your friends a favor share a bit of love today a bit of love around a bit of love with you be thankful today i want to encourage you be thankful today have a great day have a blessed day remember it's thursday thursday thankfulness be thankful just ponder and think of the things that over the last five years, even over the last two or, two or three years, what you've been through, how you've survived, how you've pushed through. Just be thankful. Be thankful. And I want to leave you with this thought. God says in Ephesians, be thankful. Give God thanks in everything. Say our Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed today. May you be encouraged today. May you be uplifted today. May you be inspired today. So I want to say to you, be thankful. Never quit. Never give up. Never give in. Never quit. Never give up. Never give in. Now you get to work on me today, you get to work on you today. Now let's live Thursday today from a place of thankfulness. Have a blessed day people. Have a blessed day.